So hey guys, welcome back to our channel M Cat Tutorials. This is the third part of the video series in which we are going to learn how to design a double fan engine in Siemens Uni Graphics software. In this tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to design the high pressure compressor rings for this engine. So make sure to watch this video till the end and I will show you guys how to design this complex geometry in very few simple steps in this software. If you are new on our channel, please click the subscribe button below and hit the bell icon to receive the notification for all our future videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. So go to new and select the destination in which you want to save the file. After clicking click OK, now rename the file. I'm naming it as high pressure compressor. We are going to build high pressure compressor rings for the turbojet engine in this tutorial. In the previous tutorial, I have shown you guys how to design the low pressure compressor rings. So the procedure here are almost similar to the previous video. So I recommend watching that video first. If you haven't seen that video, uh, link to that video will be available in the description box below. So I will be starting the design of this geometry by drawing the sketch for the cross section of the rings of the compressor so let's start the sketch go to sketch select yz plane close and select profile feature from the toolbar menu start drawing your geometry from coordinate 0 comma 42.5 make a vertical line of length 67.5 mm then draw a inclined line like this click anywhere uh, escape select rapid dimensions select this line this dimension is 75 mm and the vertical length is 65 mm in this case uh, now go to geometric constraints point on curve select this point and y axis close now again go to profile feature start from this point draw a line of length 10 mm in horizontal x and a vertical line of length 65 mm in negative x draw 15 mm and 10 mm in positive y 30 mm again in x direction and in negative x y direction 5 mm and now draw an inclined line again one more inclined line in the opposite direction okay. so from this point draw a vertical line of length 10 mm and 30 mm in horizontal direction again uh, this dimension is 25 mm and draw an inclined line like this and 10 mm in positive y direction Draw line again 30 mm in positive x and 10 mm in negative y and then incline line and 25 mm in positive y, 15 mm in positive x and 25 mm in negative y. Now you need to again draw incline line and go 8 mm above the y axis and 20 mm in the positive x. And this dimension is again 8 mm and again draw an inclined line this dimension is 23 this dimension. okay so let me just define the dimensions on these inclined lines first go to rapid dimension select this line the horizontal distance is 17 mm and the vertical distance is 10 mm this line the horizontal distance is 7 mm and the vertical distance is 5 mm now select the second line this is 50 mm in horizontal direction and 15 mm in vertical okay now again select this line this is also same uh, 50 mm in positive x and 
15 mm in vertical direction This is 40 mm in horizontal direction. And 15 mm in vertical direction. Okay. Okay. Uh, so there has been some mistake. This dimension should be 23, not 25. Yes. Delete this. Delete this dimension. Yeah, this is the dimension. Uh, change the dimension from 25 to 23. Okay. Now the tops are in the uh, same direction. Okay. Right. Now go to rapid dimension again and define this dimension. This is 40 mm in horizontal direction. 15 mm in vertical direction. Now, uh, let me just clear all these dimensions for you. So you can just pause the screen if you have missed any dimension here. Okay. I hope all the dimensions are clearly visible now. You can just Pause the screen anywhere you want, whichever dimension you missed. Okay, now we start creating the other geometry. Draw horizontal line of length. This is 15 mm, and then again in negative y direction, 25 mm. Then Okay, draw an inclined line 10 mm in positive y and 15 mm in positive x. Mm. Then again go to minus y 10 mm and draw a inclined line like this. Okay. Now go in negative y, sorry, y direction 72.5 mm. From this point, draw an inclined line like this. Now draw a horizontal line of 2 mm length in positive x direction and 10 mm in negative y direction. 20 mm in positive x and 15 mm in positive y. Okay, go 20 mm positive x and 15 mm negative y. Let's just define these dimensions also. The horizontal distance is 30 mm and this dimension is 15 mm. This is also 30 mm in horizontal and 15 mm in vertical. This one has a horizontal distance of 50 mm and the vertical distance is 52.5 mm. profile feature again and start drawing the geometry go uh, draw an inclined line like this and go 20 mm in positive x direction y direction sorry and 10 mm in x direction draw a line of length 10 mm again 40 mm in positive y and 10 mm in negative y x direction 10 mm in positive y and 30 mm in positive 
go down below again uh, 10 and this one is 10 mm in negative y direction direction 40 mm in negative y Draw a inclined line like this and go. So, stop here. Now we need to define the dimensions on these inclined lines. This is 20 mm in horizontal direction, and in the vertical direction, this dimension is 20 mm. Same. Find this dimension is this is 300 mm in horizontal direction. Okay, so the dimensions just move with it and 10 mm in vertical direction. Let me just clear all this dimension again. So the sketch is almost complete here. Now we need to close this geometry. Draw a vertical horizontal line. And the vertical line just close the geometry. Okay. So select revolve, select this geometry and select x-axis here. Select revolve. Click OK. Okay. okay. So now we have got the geometry for the high pressure compressor rings. Okay, so there is a slight correction in here. Uh, close the sketch and just redefine the dimensions in the last ring as 140 mm in the vertical direction instead of 40 mm as you can see in the sketch. The rest is okay. Now finish the sketch. So now we, we have got the geometry for the high pressure compressor in there. We will be creating the blade for this geometry in the next part of this video series. So just subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed till now to receive the notification for the next video. So if you guys have liked the video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And thanks for watching.